I'm here with my friend Anne and uh, I'm going to paint her in her beautiful house with the beautiful colours. As soon as I saw this this kitchen I knew it was going to be fantastic to paint in. So Anne, Anne is all mentally prepared now. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, let's get to it. So I haven't really discussed how I'm going to paint you. I didn't know an artist would discuss it with the subject how you're going to paint one. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. That would be a huge part of the the uh, decision making process because we'd be it is collaboration really between you and, you and I. I want to paint the best, ideally, yeah, the best version of you, yeah. for you, yeah, not for me, right, not for you. No. And I would have thought the opposite. There, there... You, you were painting your best version to you. Yes, but but I just think. Uh, it, it's your, going to be your painting. It's for you. Yeah, I was walking down this street. This man came up to me and said, um, would you like me to do your portrait? And I said, oh, I'd love to. Now, I was so pleased. Yeah. Whatever it is that he asked me, did I want to do it? And I said, oh, I'd love it. Yeah. So anyway, um, sat there and he did it. Came home, I have to tell you this now. Simon got it framed and he thought it was lovely and I thought it was much more beautiful than I ever was, but I loved it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It was only a pencil. Yes. And uh, anyway, I showed it to a neighbour. Yes. Well, I, she said, uh, that's not really you at all. <laughs> that was the artist's impression of me. <laughs> It really hurt me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it really <laughs> did. Devastated I was more. Well, you see, now, I tell you the truth is, everybody's a critic when it comes to art. Yes. As soon as you produce a painting, everybody feels they can have an opinion. Yes. So uh, that person probably just felt they, they, you know, you were opening you were opening it up to a debate. Right. Oh, I say. Okay. And, and the debate centre around what does it look like me? Or whatever, and Blades. she didn't realise that you were invested in it. And wait till, wait, till, don't show her this for God's sake. <laughs> I'm terrified. Well, too big a jaw again. You can't see. Always. I do a big jaw all the time. Yeah. I, I, I kind of, I, I'm looking at, yes, I think you're right. Uh, so now I, instead of going for small, I have to go for dainty, isn't that? Yeah, it's more, more delicate chin. Yes, a more delicate chin. Okay, that's. And my father had come from a totally racing background. His father was a brilliant trainer. It was always race horses. Yeah. So I'd say at four, I went out to the yard with him. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't carry the buckets of feed. I remember this. So I used to put them into a wee barrel yeah. to push around this cobbled stone yard, which was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And all the stables and the horses' heads out. So I would have started to ride at about four or five. Wow. It would always have been said to me I was an archer. Yeah. And to this day, I am not arrogant. I still believe mm. I, it's just natural yeah, to me to get like up on the horse and, and ride. Mm -hmm. My parents are dead now. Mm. Mm. And again, I'm saying these things. <laughs> um, I don't think we appreciate our parents until they're dead, really. Yeah. So I would say to you. And every morning I tell them to appreciate me. <laughs> Please as well. I really do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's quite like it myself. Right. Good on you. Yeah. And and what do our two assistants think? Well, I usually get more critical once it starts. It, it, the painting, painting starts. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. it's easier to. I wish you get more frequent because it's easier to change now. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this, it's heavy. It's too heavy. No, 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 here. This I know what you mean. That's the, yeah, the, it should be here. Yes. And more diagonal. Gotcha. Yeah. Please We're listen. We're still on the foundation stages. That's right. the only thing worrying me and Morgan. <laughs> yeah, but you guys know how fast I can paint these in once I have, have the drawing. Yeah. Not as fast right. as you As you think, think yeah. But the hardest thing for me to this day is... You're working with a horse every day. You're feeding him, you're bedding him down. Mm -hmm. you're, he's basically like another child. Yeah. Frame. And because you've bought, you've won the two good bumpers. Yeah. You know, this filly in the yard now becomes one of the best fillies in the country. Yeah. Whom I cannot afford to keep. Yeah. I cannot afford 
to not sell her. Yeah, that's kind of heartbreaking. It is tough. How are you? I'm good now, yourself. Great. How did you get on? Kind of bad. Oh, you were dingers. He was happy or relaxed. And yeah. Lou was a bit good livelier. On. Good on you. Good went on up you. to the top of Winchester. Oh, you're a pet. Was it as hot today? Warmer today. <laughs> are you coming in to make yourselves a cup of coffee? Yeah, I, I may have the orange juice. Caleb knows where it is. Go for it. Find that wire, Caleb. Yeah. Nice seat, you be. I knew you would anyhow. Yeah. And what's your name? Dylan. Pleased to meet you, Dylan. Thank you. They never eat anything, so I never ask them, Caleb, if he wants anything to eat. I'm on a diet. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Is that because you're jockeys here on diet? Probably, yeah. yes. Mm. Constant yeah. diet dieting, is that right? Yeah. Mm. Never sure we wouldn't, and even at 63, I wouldn't want to get heavy. Because you were all, you were disciplined to. Yeah. How much mind the horse? You were disciplined to stay. Yeah. So yeah. people will always enlighten you if you're open to it. All right, Caleb. Says the horse, huh? Yeah. Look what he agreed with me now. He doesn't <laughs> agree with it at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. Over. I'll see you all later. Yeah. yeah. It was great. The time flew. We had great chat. Yeah, please. And I turned around and went, Holy God, it's six yeah. o'clock. Oh, yeah. And I've barely done a nostril here now. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm sure you could have done with me a sock in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Isn't she brilliant? A sock in the mouth. She is brilliant. You can only imagine what came yeah. out of that mouth. Yeah. Um, we actually just got it. Someone wrote in from the. Um, video saying that they've been watching from New York. She tells me that Anne's mom and my dad, Sean Hogan of Valley McGill, were first cousins, and I can absolutely see some of the shape of my Hogan grandfather, Dennis, and my Aunt Kitty in her face. Please thank her for letting me spend some of a very pleasant afternoon in her home, getting to know her and listening to all those lovely Kilkenny voices. And I knew it was the first sound <laughs> fingers. Best all, I'm looking forward to seeing the finished painting. That means you have to actually have to finish, finish it, please. Painting, please. <laughs> you know, Morgan? Yes? Just shut us down, I guess. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Do you do still it? watching? I don't know, I can't see. Yeah. Oh, Kilkenny. You've been here for a few minutes, I've posted.